YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching Killing Eve Season 1 Episode 4. Sorry about the big break in between this, I've had some sciatica problems, back problems. I'm not going to give you my whole health history but I'm back. Hopefully it will be weekly content again. Um, and so yeah, we're doing Killing Eve. We left it on a really sad episode which probably needed me to take a minute because I was so sad. Okay, so in the episode we saw... Um, Eve, <laughs> there was, the humour in this episode was quite fun actually. Um, she's following the lead and she is following the lead regarding the people that were killed in that sex workers place and there was a Chinese guy that had more information so she went out with him for dinner and that was so hilarious. His humour was just so funny. I love shit like that but it was just overshadowed because the whole time like we had Villanelle following Eve through the town um, and then Eve's bo uh, bo no, old boss but colleague was following Villanelle and so she went down into the subway, everyone's following everyone and he stops her just before she gets on the train um, he notices the scarf and he's starting to put two and two together and thinking this bitch is tailing my bitch and so he carries on tailing her which is just like okay tail from a distance don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be trapped because then we see her get fast tracked into the club he tries to go up he's like no baby you need to queue so he gets into the club it's the strobe lights and loud noises and he's following her and she knows she's being followed and then she turns around and gives him that look like it was a smile like and you know if she smiles uh freaking she just gets so much joy out of killing that he knew straight away he'd fucked up and so he's trying to get out the crowd's thick she's cutting through and she cuts him down and we just found out that he's a dad and all of that stuff and it's like oh man i was just really getting to like him because in the first couple of episodes he was a bit standoffish because of the power switch between the two of them and it's a shame that I haven't even got his name in my head I probably did have it in the last episode but because of the break in between episodes I've forgotten him his name and I haven't actually I've only got the two main characters names down um so yeah um that was really sad and then Eve picked up his messages followed him to where he said he was went into the club literally saw him bleeding out um i think he's dead but you never know good things could happen lucky things could happen but yeah i think he's dead um so yeah we're gonna leave take off from there um so season one episode four let's go little part of me thought okay he was attacked but we don't know that he died really sad I think the husband is getting her emotions mixed up grief is hard it's very hard to deal with very hard to share with somebody Sometimes you just need to get no, through it. When his family told the truth, no one is ever allowed to know the truth. I don't know how this man trusts her as far as he could throw her because they've got a very strange relationship. I was just trying to do something nice for your birthday. It's not my birthday. So tell me when it is. Villanelle. Sure. So it's not Eve Polastri? Do you think I don't know everything? As for her partner. He was following me. He was off limits. So I don't think I can trust you anymore your next job. This will tell you where to meet them. You won't work alone again. Open it. 
please. For your daughter. Did you think I don't know any? Bro, you need to put that one down when you sack her because that was a threat, right? She's threatening your family. She's saying, I know you, I know your people, I know where you live, I know your child. You're a little late. Well, I have to make a delivery. When is the kill? Tomorrow. You're excited? Where are we going to sleep tonight? So this is your partner for this job. Oh. Your hair's grown. Oh, that was right. Who is this book? No fighting in the car. She's a friend. Are you? Step in her neck for that. Sorry. Fucking despise spitters. I'm sorry to bring this up now. But you're not being honest but with me. About Ben. About... Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? He was a friend, okay? Please don't make this all How about... How did he die? I know you think you're honouring Bill, but you looked me in the eye and you told me there was absolutely no risk. Please don't tell me I what just I just... I, I know you dangerous. care about me. We all mm. know you care about me. Sometimes I think it's all mm -hmm. you have. Well, babe. Harsh. God, I... You don't have to apologise. And it was Bill. 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 Oh, your suitcase came back from Berlin. It was on the doorstep. I'll leave the stew out. She fucking stole it and then returned it to your address. So? Are you fucking? No, what's going on in there? What's the history? Hmm? We'll be told on arrival. We just know we're here to kill a member of the British Intelligence Services. Have you clocked that your bag was stolen, yeah? Thieves don't return shit to sender. La Villanelle. Are you going to take his concern seriously because sweetie, she just came to your yard. And then contact the stores and see if you can find any security footage. So we are going to keep going? Yes. And uh, look up the perfume La Villanelle was in the case too. That's what we're going to call this asshole from now on. Villanelle. Okay. I also really need to show you something. Please don't smell it. But then I'm poking around on these transactions and I notice this account number. British, receiving three payments a year for the exact same amount. Follow the money and we find it lands here. St. Henry's, a prep school in Sussex. Take a minute. Okay. Look at the sausages. Okay, so... Wow, that's a lot of sausages. <laughs> so, I went to this party. This was about a year ago. But Frank got really drunk. Hi. There was no feasible way he could find the money. And the big finish. Can he trace the lead Jin gave us to payments made to a school called St. Henry's? Both Frank's kids go there. It is disappointing that the mole is the one who looks most like a rodent. <laughs> You've done brilliantly. Bill will be proud. I won't fight you. Why? You're scared? No. I just don't want you to get hurt. They told me one of you didn't matter. Don't make me guess. Okay. 
that mean exactly? Okay, so where's our rat? He's in Buckinghamshire. It's called Bletcham. We should go. Well, both of you. I mean, are you trained for that? It's a surveillance job in the home counties, Kenny. We just need to be in the area. Frank, hold on. Hmm? MI5. So, right. Start making notes of these motherfuckers. How are we gonna do we'll this? Put Frank under bill because that might turn out to be a murdered list. Bang. In the head. So Frank is a snake, a spy, rat. Let's just put a question mark. And now okay. he's a target. You to go to Why would you need you, so many people for Frank? A simple Frank. He's nice. So you two used to fuck, yeah? Is that what this is? You took my place. We're both here now. This girl's got a way of getting into people's heads. Good afternoon. Wow. Sorry to ambush you like this. Is Frank in? Any idea when he'll be back? I'll just give him a call. A Natalie and a Fanny. A Fanny. <laughs> From the office. Yes. Oh dear, that's a shame. It's the Which worst name you? ever. Fanny. In England. I know in America you're like Fanny Packs and shit, but... Well, Fanny, do you call... Is that sitting on your ass, your Fanny? No, in, long, in England, your fanny is your pooch, your panani. It's the worst girl's name ever. I haven't heard it since primary school. We've had some activity, but it's strange. Someone just made a call to Frank's mobile from a landline. Okay. I've located him, but the mobile's in the same house as the landline that called him. It is strange, but don't get me wrong. If you're upstairs and I'm downstairs, I will phone your ass and tell you dinner's ready. It's not so strange in this world that we live in nowadays. It's a convenience. It's lazy. But it's better than shouting. So yeah, he's hiding upstairs. Too late. These guys are so open and bait. Jesus, he's bombing it. Why is he running? Does he know we're here? Those bullets are not bouncing off the car. Frank really is a son of a gun. You lot are not professional drivers, that's for sure. Don't go in blind, baby girl, okay? We've just lost somebody. Eve? Yes, Frank. Oh, oh, fucking hell, it's just all so close. Oh my god, Eve. Listen, Frank, it's okay. We just want to talk to you. You don't need to run from us. <laughs> Stopping ain't gonna help, baby. Why would you stop and wait for them to come find you? Do you think you're in some invisible field? Why did he need three people? Seems like serious overkill, man. Is one of them gonna kill one of them? This way. Hey, 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 hey. I give the orders. Okay? Okay, say this way. This way. How big your balls are. How massive the peni. This Eve is literally up there. What are you gonna do? Is he not in the car? Is she gonna kill him? Oh my god! He's out of the car. 
It's very subtle. Yeah. Will you have some respect? This ah. dick is really small. Frank, are you there? What's wrong with him? Where are you? They've got guns. I'm hiding. Frank, listen, we are tracking you, okay? We can find you, just uh, stay quiet. Now what? Say something, stupid, and I'll shoot you. Like you shot Frank! Frank! In the head! Oksana! She's the ex? Now I have all the reasons to blow it to pieces. I was sent to get Nadia. For what? You gave me my way out of there. Now I'm giving you your way out. Of that. You are not a punk. Shut your mouth! You are beautiful. Let me. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Pumpkin? Okay. You're not pumpkin either, you're both fucking gangster bees. I am not a pumpkin. Check the boat. Let's start the car. Do you really think that Frank was killed? They're going. <laughs> okay, just stay low and run. Just clothe in this kite. Kite. Put it in the back. We can use it on the weekend. Don't notice there's no body in there. Not that you're it's a mini pet. No, you're talking to you. Still, mini most of it. Yeah, I'll be shy. This is the most the least trustworthy bitch I've ever had the I wouldn't say misfortune because I'm enjoying it but that I've ever fucking laid eyes on this bitch can't trust you. your employee can't trust you your lover can't trust you the guy that you killed so this is now the girl what what's with these looks oh what a cunt Good. And now you're gonna go to the other car and now you're gonna realize he's not in there. Why didn't you run? Belongs to a woman called Veronica Hill. She suspected Russian intelligence. He is up to his neck in this stuff. GPS has him 500 yards away. We have to get to him now, Kenny! Frank, are you running? Or are you crying? Running and crying. Okay, we're here. Just run for it! Oh, God, Frank! Frank! Shit! Frank! Don't go over there, bitch. Oh, God, Frank! Oh, God, Frank! Oh, God. Get in the fucking car, I don't get Eve killed, bitch. Oh, 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 Drive. Why did she get in the back? You just put you in the driver's seat. Oh, 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 Eve, go! Oh my god. Why is she... Oh, my days. Bedrin. Bedrinna. Oh my god. Everything happens in slow motion in this thing, like, it's like... Run. Get in the car, leave the girl in the driver's seat as soon as you hit the car, drive. My girl loves to stop to admire this bitch. It's like she's got a little secret crush on her or something. Bloody good episode though. It's just like fast paced. It's just so like, it's like a book. It's like a spy book. I love it. I'm loving it. Um, 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 um. Frank is in deep, man. Frank is in deep. So who is the Russian woman? Because she plays a good one. She's playing a blinder, mate. She came across real, you know, motherly and cake in the freezer, darling. But at the same time, when she said, oh, 
he forgot his car, she didn't feel the need to fill in that gap with a, a suggestion on how or where he went or how he got there. So yeah, she was a little bit of a professional. Um, interesting stuff. She couldn't have shot her. Maybe she shot Frank. Right in the black girl's arms. That would be deep. But Frank is in deep. I want him alive because I need to know more information about what's going on. And how it, did he get on board, you know? How long has he been doing this? His kids have been going private school for however long, so it's been years. So yeah, this is getting interesting. It's just a whole bunch of questions that this just um, opened. So yeah, fucking loving it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe, come back for another one. But yeah, this is getting juicy. See you next time. Peace and love.